Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But what God got for you, do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you understand that? Do you understand that you could have had a baby out of wedlock and still be all right? Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? You want to know how I know? Because I'm telling you what I know. I lost everything twice. I don't know if you've ever lost everything before, but I've been bottomed out twice. I done seen rock bottom two times. I've been through some walls up in here, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man, God is really with you. You ain't got to believe me. You ain't got to believe me. But keep doing it without God. Let me know how it worked for you. Matter of fact, write a book on how to make it without God. Because I want to I wanna read it. I want to read the first page. And then I want to read the last page because there ain't going to be but two. You can jack your life all the way up. God is in the forgiving business. You can make all the mistakes you want to make or think you shouldn't make. God is in the get it together business. If you got dreams and visions, I got news for you. God is in the make your dream come true business. He did it for me. How he won't do it for you. A lot of y'all better than me. I'm just going to flat out tell you. you ain't, most of y'all ain't done what I had to do to get to where I am today. You just ain't had to do this type of dirt. You ain't been homeless. So what, what you, you ain't, you ain't had to scrap like me. Most of y'all didn't come. You're not old as me. I've overcome it all because I have a relationship with him. And you can listen to me and tell that I'm not a perfect person. I am not a perfect Christian. I have my flaws. I am a flawed human being. But guess what? You are too. You ain't got it all together. I dare you to say you do. I make a lot of money, man. But guess what? I ain't got it all together. I'm hurting. I'm hurting, man. Everybody tripping through something. Everybody, I don't care who you are. You're going through something. But if you got God, you can make it. I'm just telling you this little piece of information. Look, I don't see most of y'all most of the time. So you're sitting here, you're kind of looking at me a little bit odd. Oh, why Steve talking like this stuff? I'm just trying to put you, put you on game. Because let me tell you, all y'all want to be successful and you want to be happy, but you got to get there. It's a shortcut to getting there. The shortcut to getting there is the relationship with God. If you try it without him, you're going to fail miserably. You're going to sink, man. It's going to be ugly for you. Now, this is what you got to do. Identify your gift and get busy with it. God gave all of you a gift. Identify your gift. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Get busy at that. If it's drawing, if it's teaching, if it's sharing, if it's caregiving, he put that gift inside of you. He didn't hide it under a rock or put it under the mountain or put it on the mountain somewhere. He put the gift in you. And you look at me any kind of way you want to, what I'm just telling you is real. That's how you become successful. Identify your God-given gift, what he gave you at birth. If you do that, God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. I am telling you, that is a fact.